everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I figured I would go ahead and share with you my main favorites. Um, I have quite a bit, so I probably should just go ahead and get right started into it. And there's a lot of skincare. There is one item that I feel I'm not too crazy about, so I guess it will be like a not so favorite. Okay, so yeah. there is three hair products that I have in my favorites, and um, yeah, all, all three of them I got kind of new not too long ago, so I did show them in a haul before. Um, one of them I just did a just recent, very short video on this product here. It is the Moisture and Vitamin B5 Weightless Oil Mist from OGX. Um, I had talked about this in a video. I won't really say too much about it. I will put the video down below and you can go ahead and check it out if you're interested in knowing more about this. Um, uh, oil mist for your hair, but I love it. Obviously, it's in my favorites. The next item is a hair mask, and I do really like a lot of the L'Oreal, um, this, uh, the advanced hair care system, um, from this line. I had used the other one that was like a yellow, yellowy color, golden color. Uh, this one is for moisture rush mask. It's, a uh, I think it does say it's hyaluronic and it goes up to 10 times more moisture. So it's really good for those people that have like really dry um, hair. Maybe their hair needs that extra uh, moisture in it. Um, you know, colored treat hair and all that kind of stuff. This product is from the Got To Be line. I had talked about this in, I think, my haul video. I'm not sure if they're doing away with some of these because the uh, Schwarzkopf uh, products that's what they're calling it. There's, I don't know if there's going to be the Got To Be line or not. I still really haven't fully looked into it. Uh, but I do like the Got To Be Kinkier line. This is for people with natural curly hair. This one is the um, Curling Spray Gel. It is really nice. I've been using this quite a bit and it's actually only just down to here. Okay, so for skincare products that I've really been enjoying, um, this product here was sent to me by Lynette McGee, uh, probably a good bit of you, maybe you already know her, I've um, done some collaborations with her and everything, and she was looking for the charcoal mask from the Freeman line. Freeman line is a really good line, great price, uh, price point, about $4, $5 maybe, for a lot of their masks and cleansers and everything. They sell them at Ulta, uh, probably some of your drugstores, uh, Walmart some is where I found some, um, but uh, in my Walmart, they don't sell this here, and this is the uh, Facial Clay Mask Chocolate and Strawberry. Oh my goodness. They, like, the only ones they have is the Charcoal Mask and then I believe the Avocado one. I think those are the two that, and I, I really like those. Um, but I guess Lynette was having a hard time getting the charcoal mask, so we did this thing where we're like, okay, you know, I, I'll get you a charcoal mask, and she had sent me this and another one, which I really like too, it's a pineapple one. Uh, but this, oh, it smells so good, I can see why a lot of people like it, and it is really good, it moisturizes and tones. I like to do a lot of my ma masks at, in the evening time more than during the day, and yeah, it just smells like straight up chocolate, like cho chocolate pudding is what it almost smell smells like. I don't know if I actually can say I smell the strawberries in it. I can smell definitely the chocolate, and that's what it reminds me of. And it is just a really nice uh, clay mask. I really like this. So the other product that I really enjoy is the, uh, and I did a review on this, the Valentia Even Glow Serum. It's a vitamin C serum, 20% 20, 20 uh, vitamin C. I'll put the link down below to that video. I did a whole review on it and talked about it. And I do, I really like it very much. Um, I have seen a great improvement in my skin. Okay, I just wanted to double check and make sure I'm reading stuff correctly. I was looking at my email real quick. The, um, this serum here they did give me it started on june 1st and it's till june 22nd this is 35 dollars for this product and you can get 40 percent off on it they did give me a link and a promo code and i will put that all down below if you're interested 
Um, it does sound like I would get commission or something for it if you do click on the link or the promotion code or something like that. I'll double check. Um, if it's a code I put or a link I put, um, that's up to you. I'm not bothered. I mean, like, that's what they had given me. And if you are interested in a vitamin C and you've been thinking about it or, you know, just whatever, and you want to order it, um, you can go ahead and click on the link. If you don't want to, that's fine. Um, but it's there for you if you the are interested. The next thing is, um, I cut this, I showed this in a haul video, and, um, this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Glow Renewal Serum. There is a couple, I guess there's two different serums from L'Oreal. I didn't realize that until afterwards. Um, and this is the Glow Renewal Serum. So, um, this is really, really nice oil. I have been very impressed with it. I will have a video up soon and discuss um, the two L'Oreal skincare products that I got. And I've been using them, uh, working them in with my whole skincare routine and everything. And this is a very lovely oil, very lovely. It um, smooths on the skin really nice. And I guess I really don't want to go too in depth because I will have that video up. And I use it at night though. This I use at night. The other one that I got that's a deluxe size and I'm really loving a lot is the Age Perfect. This is all, the whole Age Perfect uh, collection from L'Oreal. This is the Age Perfect Cell Renewal Golden Serum. And this also will be in that video I had done um, in a review on both of these. And this is a really nice serum. This I use during the daytime. I put it on today. The next item I really love, um, and it was sent to me, and I had discussed about their cleanser, the Key West Aloe Cleanser. Um, I did a video on that. I can also put that down below. That is an awesome cleanser. Um, I am in the process of, because it, it got, became so popular, every time I went online to order it, it was sold out. Every time it was sold out. So, um, a lot of people must be seeing the same thing I'm seeing from it. So I'm going to look, um, I'm in the process, I'm going to, because I'm going to get that, and then they have a new uh, mask for the face. And Key West Aloe Company is a really good company. I would highly recommend looking into them. Um, they have really nice products. I would try everything. I had samples of moisturizers and all kinds of stuff. This is the Cucumber Under Eye Gel, and it's 80% aloe. It relieves puffiness. This is an amazing product. I like to use it more during the daytime, because like when I first wake up, and kind of maybe if my eyes are a little puffy. And um, it is a really nice product. I would highly recommend checking their uh, this company out. I really like them. And hopefully that cleanses. Okay, and then the other there. thing that I've been really enjoying, and this is a little deluxe sample, uh, is the Coral's Coors Black Pine Firming, Lifting, and Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream for all skin types. So this is a night cream. Of course, obviously put it on at night. And it is amazingly wonderful. I really like it. I do like the company Coors. I've only tried mostly a lot of their skincare, or not skincare, their makeup. Um, I've used their uh, mascara, blushes, and bronzers, and so I have several different items from them. And I haven't really gotten too much of their skincare, um, but after trying this, I want to get the full size of this. And I did place an order at Sephora, and I did order a, uh, I think it's like some kind of kiwi cleanser from Kors, so, because I'm going to try some of their stuff out. Okay, the next one is from them little kits that I was talking about. And I really love this eye, uh, eye cream too. I use this in the morning mostly also. And it's the Origins Ginseng uh, Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. Now I of course have the little size and this is from them little sets that I was talking about. <clears throat> and I will be doing a whole review because um, I got three different products from the Origins. And it's pretty cool because it has like a has a slight, but it just it smells like regular moisturizer to me. I don't know how well you'll see it because the lighting probably won't do it justice, but it has um, a peachy tinge to it, like kind of thing too. So, but it's quite lovely. I really like it. Um, 
So there will be a video of that. I'll have some review videos. Okay, so let's go on to the makeup. All right, so for makeup, I'm all over the place. So I really didn't have any lipstick favorites or things to that nature. I should, I'm, I'm playing around. I've got different products and I've been trying to play with everything and all that kind of stuff. So I really feel like I don't have an actual favorite yet because I'm just all over the place. Like I'm not using the same each, each time I'm putting my makeup on, I'm putting on something different, which on my eyes today, I actually did get the uh, Makeup Forever, the second artist palette. Oh, be looking for a review for that too, and also it'll probably be my haul, but oh my gosh, I'm just, yeah. That's all I'm going to say is oh my gosh. So anyway, this is a lip product, but it's not a lipstick. It is a lip balm, and it's from Dr. Janess. It has her Hydra Shield. Let's try to think of the word. Um, if you've never tried Dr. Janess's Hydra Shield Serum, oh my god, that thing is amazingly, it's it's quite pricey, but if you can get one of the kits, uh, like the twenty-some dollar kits that she has on QVC or on her site, um, lately I've been seeing infomercials even, you know, or whatever, that stuff is really good. Um, for collagen. It's a collagen booster. Well, this has that in it, the Hydra Shield, and this, I have, I got two of them, actually, and it has like somewhat of a color to it, but it doesn't really color your lip. It just, maybe it gives just a little natural kind of a thing, but nothing major. I put this on pretty much every single night. That's what I mostly use it for. Or I put it on before I'm going to put a lipstick on to kind of get my lips a little more moisturized and, and, and you know, get something good for my lips. So that's what I've been kind of doing. But Dr. Dennis, her skincare is amazing. I would recommend a lot of her products. Um, which I guess that was kind of considered skincare. Maybe now I should say makeup. <laughs> so the next thing is, is this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This fills in the fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores. This one's like that purplish, pinkish um, tone to it. They have several different ones. And this one's to help, like it says, the fine lines and the pores and everything. Um, this is a nice primer. The thing, well, right now, the one thing I'm not liking is, well, I mean, I guess the lid's not too bad now. Um, but the other thing that I had the smell but I do try to get over the smell the smell it's there 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 is a pretty strong smell it doesn't stay with me and linger forever it's like when you first put it on you're applying it on but then afterwards I don't notice it anymore um, and I can get past it but there is a distinct smell to this so that's just one of the downside of it it is a very slick primer and so it probably is silicone based primer definitely I would say so it's very slick um, I wouldn't want to say greasy I don't know somebody with somebody with oily skin might not like this because of the slickiness to it I don't feel it's oily but that might be a problem for them I don't know I mean, um, and then the next thing I am loving and I use this right now like when it's the warmer weather here and everything and this is a great drugstore CC cream I think anyway and it is from Physicians Formula and it's from the Organic Wear I did a video on this like about a year or so ago the Organic Wear CC cream from Physicians Formula I think this, that's what I, I have on today, I, I mean between this and the next product I'll, be, product I'll be showing you, but this, I really like it, it's very nice, it does give you a, um, I don't know if I would say glow or dewiness or just a little something, it's, it's, it's really nice, it makes your skin look healthy, and I really like this one a lot, I haven't tried any of the other ones, so I'm not sure what they're like fully, and then they have BB creams and stuff too. But I really love this guy, and um, I would—I'm definitely gonna repurchase it. 
Um, I do have the Pons one. I think the Pons is a BB cream though. I have Pons, but I think I like this even much better than my Pons. So my Pons, once it's done, it's done, I think, and I'm just going to stick with the uh, Physician formula. So that's one. And then this is the product I topped it with, and I do love this. Sort of like I use it how my Laura Geller ba Balance and Brighten. I don't use this alone after I put on primer. I put this on top of something like a CC cream or a light coverage of, of a foundation that I have because I want to do just that little bit of extra coverage. And this is from Pure Minerals Company, and it's their 4 in 1 Pressed Mineral Makeup Powder. And it looks like this, just a nice, you know, powder. Um, and it's very, very nice, finely milled powder. It's really nice. Um, can I have a glare? And, and it, it also has like a little bit of a glow kind of to it, but it's just, it's really nice. I really like it a lot. And I usually put this over top then after I am done with my CC cream. And then my favorite concealer as of right now, which I guess you consider, I would consider this more, not a concealer, but more to um, brighten and, and highlight under the eyes, is my Master Conceal. Now this one's in Fair, so maybe I'll go with a light, get a light one, and use that for under the eye itself for the concealer, and then use this to brighten up a little bit more, like in, in around here. But this is a great concealer, a little bit goes a long way, so. And then for, oh, I have two bronzers, but the one I have, um, and I will put her her channel down below. The people, if there's people I mentioned in my video, I will put a link to their channel below, um, just so you know. Um, Ellis for Living, she's really nice, uh, she has a really nice channel. She does a little bit of everything. She does discuss beauty, skincare, makeup, but she also is very inspirational. Like she does little inspirational um, things, like you know, telling you like um, how to maybe overcome something or just be kind and everything. Well, she had mentioned, and I do use this as a contour bronzer kind of a thing, and it's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face and Powder, and it is in the color Sunny. Okay. And I have actually been, I actually had used this a couple times now already um, as a transition or whatever in the crease for my eyes. So that's what she said she used it for. And I have used bronzers before for that. Um, but depending, sometimes you can have one that's too dark or whatever. Um, for fair to light complexed, um beauties this would work great for in the crease for you like a transition or something so if you are lacking that in a palette you know one that you really can have something to maybe give a little definition there so um i'm going to be using this and so that's that's what i used with that one then this is something like where you had it and then it like set up set by for a good while and then it's like oh my god i forgot i had that and i remember i loved it so i was like actually online trying to find it because this is like one of them little deluxe samples and it is from josie mary marin and this is her uh argon brightening bronzer sunspot corrector is what it says and I looked on her site, now she does have bronzers on her site, but it looks like the one I seen I think was like a loose powder. She might have had one that's a solid, like a pressed one, and because that's the one I want. But this one she doesn't have anymore, and I wish she did. It's, it's just, it's like so naturally of a bronze color, I just, I wish... I wish she still had it. And I was actually on eBay. See that color? You know, like for me, that's just so perfect. It's not, you know, like too, it's just a perfect bronzy color. And I'm going to rub it in my hand a little bit. It's gorgeous. Um, I've been looking all over on eBay, 
um, now they have this size on eBay, you know, this little, but I want, I want a big one. And I kind of could kick myself in the buttocks for not getting the big one now. So, and then these two products I did a review on. I'm just going to have them together right here like this because these were sent to me uh, by CoverGirl. And I'm not just coming on here because CoverGirl sent them to me and I'm saying they're great products. I'm saying they're great products because they are, for me, for me, great products. Um, but um, the Super Sizer Mascara for me is the best drugstore mascara out there right now for me. Um, like the Butterfly Intensa was like the bomb for me for a good while there. I was like, wow, you know, this is a really good one. I really, I was like, finally found a really good drugstore um, mascara. You know, like I've had some before, but I've never really found one that's like, you know, a wow factor. Anyway, beauties, definitely will have to edit because I don't like to have these videos too long. I'm trying to make my videos smaller. I almost forgot my uh, not-so-favorite item, so I'm going to have to squeeze this in here when I do my editing. I had to laugh because I was trying to go over my video and discovered I forgot to show my least favorite thing. That's probably why it didn't show up in here because I'm not really that thrilled with it. Um, and I did show it in a haul, and it is the Equate Beauty... Uh, they compare to the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2, and it's a clarifying toner for dry or combination skin. And, you know, yeah, I got this in Walmart, and I have been using it, but I'll be honest, I'm not too... It says it leaves skin feeling toned, refreshed, and moisturized. Um, I'm just not really feeling it with this. Like, I'll use it up and everything, but once it's gone, it's done. I don't think I'll repurchase it. That is it, I believe. So, yeah, beauties. Um, I want to thank you so much to everybody that has joined me and for my new subscribers and for my uh, older subscribers, people that's been with me for a very, very long time, and just everybody, everybody that's just subscribed to me just in general. I want to thank you very much. So, anyway, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would so much help me out and I would appreciate it also from the bottom of my heart and also beauties if you are not subscribed to my channel I would so love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button it is free you don't have to worry about paying anything it's just free you might become addicted to YouTube like I did but you know it's it's fun um so yeah come and join us and be a part of the beauty crowd and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let your own beauty shine through so until next time, we'll see you here.